One thing that I absolutely love to do for the community is solve problems. One of the problems I've recently been confronted with is a problem that some of you might not even know you have. And I shouldn't say it's really a problem. It's just a different way of doing something. A little bit more convenient, a little easier, and it avoids potential mess up. Because, you know, let's admit it, how many times we've copied and pasted something where we forgot something or we only copied the first half of a URL? I'm going to show you a way in which you can do collaboration to where it'll connect you directly into the person who you're working with or following up. Now, a lot of people were like, oh man, yeah, I use StreamYard. We do that all the time. I'm not talking about dual simulcast or multi simulcast. I'm talking about taking a video and then as you wrap it up, have that video feed into the next person's video. A great example of that is I'm a part of something called the Premiere Train. Our conductor, Mad Stacker, put this together over three years ago. And for three years, we've been doing something. I shouldn't say I. I've been here a very short time. I'm probably the newest member of the group. But I say we because we're a collective group of people. But what they've been doing is as you upload, you copy your URL. And you put it in an email and send it to everybody. And then what we do is we keep a list of those. And as we go through... And we get to the end of each video, the moderators for that particular channel throw in the links to the next video. Now they get put into live chat so that it's there. And we also have connections that are pinned to the top, the point to the front of the train. So the process is pretty well designed and it's worked really, really well for three years. But there's something that's inherent in YouTube that you can link automatically to the next video. Now it only works for live streams and it only works for premieres. So if this is something you're interested in learning, you're in the right place. I'm gonna walk you through how to set it up. I'm gonna walk you through the permissions that you need to coordinate. I'm gonna actually put a live stream together or a premiere together and walk you through how you do it. It'll only take us a few minutes and when you're done, your collaboration will go to the next level. You'll be able to point to people who are doing a live stream. And you'll be able to coordinate the conversations. You know those raids that we do? Yeah, guess what? This is raids on steroids. So stay tuned. Save this video. You're going to want to come back to it later because there's a couple of steps in here. Some of them you only have to do once. Some of them you have to do every time. All right, let's dig in. So what do you want to do is you want to be on your main channel. So go to YouTube, go to your home screen, the one where you see your videos, your shorts, live, community, membership, all that information. And in the upper right-hand corner, I want you to click on your icon or your avatar. And when you click on your avatar, I want you to go down to where you see YouTube Studios, just like you see here in the picture. All right. So you're there, outstanding. What we're going to do is we're going to navigate over on the left-hand side to content. And once you click content, it's going to open up. Here's all your videos. These are the videos that you either are ready to show, live streams that you're ready to, to, uh, to produce, or this is an area where you can set something up. Now, you can do the create from another location, but I always go here first. But in order to set this up, we need to make sure that the other people in, quote unquote, our premiere train have access to be able to link to my video. So I need to go to the settings. So the, what you need to do is on the left hand side, you're going to scroll down to settings. And when you click on that settings tabs, you're going to see something that looks like this. I want you to go down where it says community. Now, when you click on community, I want you to scroll down about two thirds of the way down the page and you're going to see something that says live redirects. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that the live redirects is turned on for all channels. Now, what this means is that any channel on YouTube can direct from their video to you. Now, this has its pros and it has its cons. If you're not really interested in seeing something or somebody's trying to use your channel to prove a point, then 
if you have a problem with this, you may want to turn this off. But for our purposes, we want to go ahead and turn this on. I don't have a problem if somebody wants to promote my channel for me. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this on. So once it's on, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to click save. Once you hit save, then it's going to set that permissions up. So now you're a third of the way there. The next thing we need to do is we need to actually either create a live stream or edit one that is getting ready to go. So whether you've staged it, set it up, whether you have a premiere that's staged and ready to go, or we need to do one. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start a brand new one. So in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to go ahead and click on create. I'm going to click on upload video. Now, if you've done content creation, you've probably done this a hundred thousand times and that's fine. Choose one of the videos that you have. Go ahead and go through the process. Now you'll see here that you have your title, you have your description, and as you scroll down, you'll put your thumbnail in, you'll choose the playlist that it goes in. All of this stuff is most likely stuff that you've seen at least once. Now, if you've never done content creation and you want to learn how to do this, put something down in the comments because what I'm going to be doing probably next weekend is I'm going to be housing or hosting a one hour how to put together a very easy video, short or whatever, so that you can actually post something. Now, when you get subscribers and you don't have any content, sometimes they get stripped. So we want to make sure that you can have content and have somebody where they can go in, lay that like, subscribe, follow, make those comments so that those subscribers stick to your page. If that's something you're interested in, I will make sure that I coordinate that. Watch my stream, watch my community page, and I'll be posting on something on that very, very shortly. All right, well, let's get back to this. All right, so once you're in here, you're going to go through and you're going to do all of this. Now, I'm not going to go through show more and I'm not going to go into the tagging and everything because for the sake of this, I'm not going to be uploading it. I just want to show you the process. So go ahead and click on next. Well, if you're monetized, you're going to want to make sure that monetization is turned on. You're going to go ahead and click done, and then you're going to determine whether you want to place ads mid-roll or not. Now, I highly recommend that you review your placement. I'm not going to mess with that today, but if you want to talk about that, let me know, and we'll, we'll do a special video on why it's important for you to do video placement. But you need to comment for me, because I'm not going to spend time doing something if you're not interested in seeing it. All right? Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and hit next. You're going to go through, and you're going to learn uh, are you going to look at and see if any of those things apply? Well, there's nothing in this video that's cussing or harmful or no shocking or violent content. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK, and then I'm going to submit my rating where it's safe for ads. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now we're looking at copyright information. Once you do, or excuse me, the video content information. Once you get to video elements, here you're going to be able to do things like Turn on a license if you're sharing music or whatnot. Add subtitles or do an end screen. Again, I'm not going to do any of this because it's not important. Just know that this is where you would do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now, again, copyright information while it's uploading is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and wait until the processing is done before this kind of tells me whether or not there's any items. Again, I'm not worrying about it right now because it's not a part of the process. All right, now we're where we need to be. Now we're at the visibility. This is where you're going to set up your live stream now or your uh, video premiere. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose premiere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on schedule. I'm going to choose the date. So I'm going to choose Sunday, February 4th, 2024. And I'm going to change that to 10 a.m. Actually, let's do 10.30 a.m. All right, because that's the time of the premiere train. I'm going to go ahead and click on set as premiere. Now, when I click set as premiere, it's important that I set up my premiere. So I'm going to go ahead and click on set up premiere. This is where you're going to set that link to the next channel. And it's important that you do it here. I'm going to choose my item, go down and click whichever one you want. I'm going to click on kids. I'm going to choose the time frame for this particular one. We'll say one minute. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on redirect. Now, trailer is for something if you have a little teaser. 
30, 40, 50 second video where you want to tease people into your uh, video. You can do that if you want to, and this is where you'll add your trailer. But what I want to do is I want to do the redirect. What that is, what that is going to do is at the very end of my video, it's going to send you to that channel that I want you to go to. And in the premiere train, the person who follows me is Mad Stacker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come up here and I'm going to click on M-A-D-D -D Stacker. Okay. And when I do this, I'm going to click and I'm going to see that there are two premieres. Now, something very important just happened here. You see how I have this gold sniping farmer? Yep. And it's grayed out. That means I don't have redirect privileges to their channel. And what that means is that this will not work with that particular channel. So they need to go in and they need to do the first step where I went into the settings and turn that on so I can link to their channel. But you'll see the Mad Stacker hasn't uploaded his video. So I'm going to, for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and click on Miss Coin Crew. Now, Miss Coin Crew's playing with silver is going to air at 11.45 Eastern time. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click save. Guess what? You're done. All you got to do now is schedule your video or your live stream, right? Your premiere. So you're set up. Now, I want to point something out. Okay, when you're doing this, it's really important if you look at your time, I go on at 1030 Central. She comes on at 1145 Central. I do not want to link to her because I'm going to send somebody somewhere where they're going to have to wait an hour and a half. That's a really good way to lose somebody. So make sure that you're doing stuff that is either going on at the same time you're ending or make sure that you're linking them no longer than about five to 10 minutes prior to the start of their live or their premiere. It's really important because you'll lose people and they'll go somewhere else and then forget to come back. All right, everybody. I hope this has been useful. Folks in the premiere train, please follow these steps. Let's get this coordinated where we can just have everybody flow through. And if you're a watcher of the premiere train, pay attention because you're going to be seeing this and you'll know who doesn't follow. <laughs> anyway, y'all take care. Be well, be blessed. Thanks for being here. Remember, share this out. If you're not a subscriber, it's free. It's easy. Hit that button, like, comment, hit that bell for notifications. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. I want to hear all of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Frostbite. I will see you in the streams. Take care.